Hello, Malcolm Cabrier, how are you doing? Hey, Sunday, 10 past 6 pm. Just off to the garage. So, a bit, little bit crack about the uh, that Sheffield Wednesday game. Well, I tell you what, I, I'm just so glad the season's done and dusted because once again, that was torture yesterday, wasn't it? I mean, what what are the players playing at? I mean, it's all right saying, oh, Sheffield Wednesday need the points more than what we do, but we, we've just got to get on with our own game and to, to hell with what any other team want. We've got to do our business. And I still think the players should take responsibility for that just dire performance. Doesn't matter if you're on holiday mode at the end of the season, like saying out to play for. Fans have paid money to go and watch that. And uh, I was just bored out my skull. To be right, to be honest with you, it's it's just eat, sleep and repeat doing the match reports and stuff because it is, it's just the same uh, here we go again now up front chances we couldn't hit a a cow's backside with a teaspoon Sheffield Sheffield Wednesday went up um, they didn't have many chances and they got the goals um, they started the, the better of the two but it's just not good enough is it, I mean Six points from the relegation zone, and we finished three points ahead of Sheffield Wednesday. And at one point, I think we were 29 points ahead of Sheffield Wednesday. So, I'm really glad that the shite show of the season is done and dusted, to be quite honest with you. Um, I believe the players did do a lap of honour um, to literally the Sheffield Wednesday supporters because that's all that was left in the ground just the Sheffield Wednesday fans so and I didn't blame the supporters to be honest with you I mean what what's what what have they got to thank the players for this season you know zero effort for the majority of the season and it just isn't good enough it's pathetic absolutely pathetic and the fans deserve more I thought they could have done something, Jack Shields, Charlie Early, the tributes. Dear me. It was just absolutely awful stuff to watch, wasn't it? It was absolutely awful stuff to watch. So that's it. The eyes are now on. The owners. There's rumours Speakman's already gone, but... I don't know. But the clock is ticking now. <clears throat> the rebuilding starts and they've got some work to do by god have they got some work to do because uh, I cannot endure any more of that watching that just trail of trash week in week out I mean especially at the stadium of light I mean you can hear a pin drop because the fans are just so fed up they're just not getting entertained at all absolutely zero entertainment from the fans nothing to get excited about it's awful absolutely awful and thought the lads maybe could a bit put a bit more of an effort in for the last game of the season but no they couldn't could they they were inept to doing it they were incapable of doing it and you look at the league table and it's like yeah people could say like we've, we've stayed up we're, we're, in, we're in this division again you know but that was too close for comforts I mean <laughs> if it weren't for them two wins of Michael Bale we could have been where Birmingham City are. It's just bloody not good enough, is it? So, anyway, I'm going to go and I'm going to the shop. I sound like a broken record because, let's face it, that's what the season's been, hasn't it? To be honest with you. Um, there's always going to be videos coming daily. There's always ha stuff happening with the club. Um, I'm just um, now going to the shop and get some bits and bobs. So enjoy the rest of your Sunday, folks. I'll see you later.